What's up, Internet? It's your soul. And following Jeffrey Epstein's alleged death, the uh, damage limitation, mind control, controlled media spinning up its wheels as expected. Just saw this amusing page on the British Brainwashing Corporation's website here. Jeffrey Epstein, how conspiracy theories spread after financier's death. The short version of this is that it describes a variety of memes and messages that have appeared on the internet regarding Epstein and the events of his death slash disappearance, depending on what you think happened. And it particularly makes a point in here, which I want to follow up on, which is that it talks here about there being a kill list from the Clinton family in terms of a list that's been passed around the web, claiming to show all these people that disappeared in mysterious circumstances or were killed very close to the Clinton family and basically saying that Clinton probably had them killed in some way. And it makes the point that Snopes has basically debunked this. And I was, you know, laughing as soon as I saw that because Snopes is really a terrible excuse often for a platform from which to take information regarding what has and hasn't been debunked. So I thought I'd have a little dig around on Snopes just out of interest. You can see here it says this was roundly methodically debunked at the time. And if we open up Snopes here on that page, um, it goes into point by point detail into numerous of the different alleged people who died in relation to Clinton. Number 14, Florence Martin, accountant for the CIA and had information on the Barry Seal case, three gunshot wounds to the head. So Barry Seal was involved in the cocaine smuggling activity uh, between South and North America, landing in Mena, Arkansas, involving apparently Bill Clinton, according to what I would say is fairly good sources of evidence, two CIA agents uh, basically testified publicly that Bill Clinton was involved. One of them was killed. The other one we'll move on to shortly um, and is still alive for very good reasons. So what's their response to this? On the 23rd of October 1994, 69-year-old Florence Martin of Maybell, Texas, 40 miles from Wichita Falls, was murdered in her home by three gunshots to the head through a pillow. She wasn't an accountant for the CIA, though. She worked the graveyard shift at a convenience store in nearby Seymour and had lived in that area for decades. In 2012, Jack Wesley Melton was charged with Martin's murder. DNA found at the scene was matched to him, leading to his arrest. So they haven't actually provided any corroborating evidence that anything that they said here is true. It may be true, it may not be true, but there's literally no way of knowing. It's no better than me just inventing something off the top of my head and, and saying that that's true. How is that a debunking? It's in no way a debunking whatsoever. This could be completely true, but I could easily say, change around the details of this, change the names and say, oh no, it was this person that killed them. It's completely meaningless, isn't it? Unless you've actually got real evidence. This is useless in terms of a debunking and it just it just makes people ridicule Snopes and rightly so, to be fair. We don't even have to get into the whole issue with the owner of Snopes, private life and prostitutes and fraud and so on. So what I found interesting was that when you come into Snopes, and you can see I've searched for the JFK assassination here, I was just interested to find out what they what they covered, you know, what, what they do and they don't cover. Because I know that I never see anything on Snopes, very rarely see anything on Snopes, let's say, uh, which actually does any proper debunking. And I've never seen any of the really good evidenced uh, conspiracies, let's say, or major crimes that have gone unpu unpunished or unaccepted be listed on here. I've never seen it. I've never seen them debunk the things that I consider to be solid, or at least very likely to be completely true. So I just thought, well, let's have a look at what's on here. And that's really the focus of this video. Now, this is a challenge to anybody that thinks Snopes is a valid source of information and to Snopes themselves. So JFK assassination I've searched for here. There's two pages. Now, considering the amount of videos, pages and claims made about the JFK assassination over the decades, two pages of, of posts is not really very much. In fact, considering this page is a, these pages are short, there's nothing, really. I mean, it seems like there's maybe 10 per page. So you're talking actually 13 or 14 pages. And this has got nothing to do with JFK anyway, really. So let's see. One, that's not really even a, a conspiracy to do with his assassination. So we've got one relevant post so far. No, two, possibly, maybe three. Four, five, six, 
there's pretty much hardly maybe five or six posts on there relating to the JFK assassination. Most of them are tenuous connections to it. They're not really, like from what I can see, highlighting any of the. They're not really highlighting any of the major issues. If we click on Lee Hard, oh Lee Hardley Oswald. So this is basically debunking apparently a photo uh, and saying it's fake and so on. Well, it doesn't really matter to me whether that's fake or not. The point is they haven't even addressed a tiny percentage of the claims made about the JFK assassination. And there's a reason why I'm not diving right into this, because I don't need to, because I'm going to dive into some other things which are more important. So one of the things that's important here is that E. Howard Hunt, the CIA operative who admitted to being part of a CIA plot to kill Kennedy on his deathbed to his son, is not on this website at all. So let's just search for Howard Hunt. So... Nothing to do with JFK, nothing to do with E. Howard Hunt there. And rather than going through all these pages, I can tell you in advance that if you go and search on Google and limit the search to only Snopes.com and search for E. Howard Hunt or Howard Hunt, all you'll find is one or two threads from people in the forums talking about mentioning E. Howard Hunt. That's it. There's no investigation of his claims that he was involved in the killing of Kennedy. I wonder why that is. Because that's quite a big story. Jesse Ventura covered it. Lots of people covered it. Why is that? Why has Snopes not tackled that issue? Could it be because it's actually true and there's nothing they can say negative about it? So they just didn't say anything because they'd have to say, well, it's probably true or it could be true. They just haven't said anything. Hmm, funny that, isn't it? It's almost like they're a bit biased, but let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're not biased. So here's a post that I made on Steemit and the Steam Network a couple of years ago on the topic of E. Howard Hunt. And you're welcome to come and check that out. The link's under the video. And you'll see in here the confession of E. Howard Hunt. You'll also see a, a statement made by a US military guy here, basically saying that he had evidence that this plot was taking place as well, and uh, he was asked to participate in it, as I recall, and he didn't in the end. Now, this is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of evidence against you know, the, the American government and inside scheme against JFK, but the point is you'd think that something as major as that uh, would actually be on Snopes, but no, it's not. Let's search for, I don't know... Uh, Udo Ulfkutter. Oh, nothing. That's that's funny, isn't it? I wonder why that is. Nothing. Udo Ulfkutter was the German editor of the second largest newspaper in Germany who went public saying that he'd been in the pay of the CIA's whole life told to lie to everyone about America and that everyone else in the mainstream media was also bought off in the same sort of way and that he'd had enough of lying and he wanted to come clean and basically say that apologize to everyone sorry i've been giving you false information and lying to you my entire career taking lots of cash from the cia funnily enough he died not long after that of a heart attack and funnily enough he's not mentioned on snopes nothing at all no mention so here's udo ulfkutter here's his statement on rt he wrote a book about his experience with the CIA in uh, mass media. Here's a video from, I believe it was the church investigation. The CIA representatives who here were asked in uh, official capacity, do you have the ability to create a heart attack in someone undetected? And they pulled out an air gun and basically said, yes, we use those, we can do that. So when someone dies of a heart attack shortly after saying, by the way, the CIA is causing mass media to lie to you constantly, don't be surprised. No mention on Snopes. Let's have a look at Chip Tatum. Rat superstitions. Okay, that's interesting. Pretty much nothing to do with Chip Tatum. Chip Tatum was a CIA pilot who flew cocaine smuggling flights during the Iran-Contra affair for the Clinton Crime Syndicate. This is his own claim. He's written a... Well, he released documents of evidence from the time... And he's gone through graphic details of what was involved. And there's numerous other testimonies from people claiming the same thing. He states in his lengthy interview that he, with Ted Gunson, that he has is the only CIA person he knows of to have proven to have been proven to be a part of the CIA in court due to the documents that were put forward in his deposition. And he's still alive, he says, because he has a wealth of information 
on people like Clinton and George Bush, which, if it was to be released, which it would be released if he died, then they would be in a lot of trouble. Uh, he's still alive today, and, you know, if Snopes wanted to go and talk to him, they could do. Question him on, on all the claims he made. He made extensive claims about the Vietnam War, about the, uh, the Contra smuggling into South America, exchanging weapons for drugs uh, via the CIA and military. Lots of things. He talked about Project Phoenix. Uh, strangely enough, no mention on Snopes. So let's have a look at Project Phoenix. Okay, well, Project Phoenix, as noted in the lengthy book CIA as Organized Crime, was basically a pro program that began in the Vietnam era, designed to cause terror amongst the population there and psychologically destroy their opponents. And it involved them building bases all around that were there for torture and abduction and taking away anyone and everyone who might be thought to be involved with the Viet Cong to get information and just generally terrorise everyone. They then took that model to South America and then on later on to Iraq and Afghanistan and it's still being used today. Some say that it's being used in America in a variant form as well. Project Phoenix is pretty well documented. There are a fair number of people that have given extensive information about it. Strangely, nothing mentioned on here. Let's have a look at this one seems like it could possibly be related. Nope, it's out of Phoenix, Arizona. Nothing to do with Project Phoenix. Okay, so Chip Tatum actually mentions being part of Project Phoenix as well. Strangely, no mention. And the last one that I'm going to go through here. Let's have a look at Michael Aquino. No results. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Michael Aquino, head of the Church of Satan, broke off from that, became the head of the Temple of Set, his own variant form. He was a highly ranked soldier in the American military, basically ran Space Command, as I understand it, for a while, was head of PSYOPs for a while. As I understand it, he wrote the American military's guide to religion. So you've got a Satanist creating policy for religion across the whole system. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? Now, the funny thing is here, this isn't even debated. I mean, you can look on his Wikipedia page. It states his history, shows you pictures of him with Anton LaVey, the head of the Church of Satan and so on. In this interview from only a couple of months ago with Miles from the Basis Project, he basically states that 9-11 was a CIA Mossad MI6 inside job, JFK was killed by the CIA and the moon landings were faked. Now, you know, you might, people can question why he would do that, but... At the end of the day, he's somebody who should know the truth about these things. His job was to know these kinds of things. So either he's lying here just for the sake of it, basically making himself look like a fool in a, in a situation where he really could have done a lot to clear his name, considering that he'd been accused of torturing and killing lots of children, as I understand it, in the past. Uh, strangely enough, what he actually did was make these claims, which are so-called loony conspiracy theories. So funnily enough, he's not mentioned on there either. So, fair enough, they might not have known about this interview that he gave a couple of months ago, but ultimately, this is literally a Satanist at the highest end of the US military. You'd think that, given the amount of posts that have been made about this subject over the years, Snopes might have something on it, but no, nothing. Funny that, isn't it? So, there's a thread here. We've got corrupt, potentially, probably, corrupt military individuals from so-called intelligence in America. You've got a whistleblower from that world shedding light on Clinton, Bush, numerous other people being involved in weapons and cocaine smuggling. You've got, this is actually another CIA agent talking about the same thing who actually turned up dead. You've got another CIA guy admitting to being part of the plot to kill Kennedy. And you've got mass media character basically saying the CIA pays us all to lie. So within these five stories, including Project Phoenix, you've basically got substantial, weighty evidence of large-scale CIA manipulation of truth, media, history, politics, you name it, completely buried in the mainstream by their own people, probably, according to him. What do we have on Snopes? Nothing. Hmm. So when they say the, the Clinton body bag 
thread has been debunked. Yeah, there may be quite a lot of claims on the on those lists that aren't true. But they definitely have not done enough to debunk this in a serious way, and they really just make themselves look complicit or just stupid, really. So yeah, make of that what you will. If you know any better than me, go ahead. If you know that any of the subjects I've touched on are actually on Snopes, or if you know any evidence that says that E. Howard Hunt wasn't part of the CIA plot to kill JFK, if you know that Chip Tatum wasn't part of Project Phoenix and cocaine smuggling to Clinton as he was the governor of uh, Arkansas, to the MENA airstrip, if you know that Udo Ulfkutter wasn't really in the pay of the CIA, if you know that Michael Aquino isn't really the head of the Temple of Set and wasn't really high up in the American military, then do let me know. Until next time, peace.